Alrighty, welcome back. This is Aussie Gamer 17 and welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide where I get you that gamer score. Today we are playing The Walking Dead, the final season, episode three. Long awaited episode three after all the drama, but we're not going to go into that. Today I am getting all of the collectibles and all of the missable achievements. The video will run in chronological order, so if you follow along with the video, you won't miss a thing. You'll get all of the achievements and all the collectibles required for that. So let's not wait any longer, let's get into it. Starting with collectible number one, a short way into the game you'll find yourself in the basement going to speak with Abel. Before you do though, make sure you grab the pendant off the left wall here the school pendant for collectible number one. For collectible number two, we'll start where we just picked up collectible number one, head through the doorway, and on the shelf on the left over here, pick up the sketch pad. Very simple collectible number two, right next to number one. And from collectible number two, we're going to move straight on to the first missable achievement. You need to go and pet Rosie. Unfortunately, this will only be available to you if you got both Rosie-related achievements in the previous two episodes. There were two missable achievements, one in each of the first two episodes, where you had to pet Rosie and basically um, become friendly with Rosie so that she would be available here um, and friendly to you to pet. So that's how to grab that one. But yeah, it's uh, definitely the most missable achievement uh, depending on how you played the other two episodes. Okay, now moving on to where we have to interrogate Abel. Um, I'll just let you know, I'm gonna show you all the options that I made here. For example, the first option to wake him up is I chose to slap him. Uh, fuck? This, you don't get an actual achievement for this interrogation, but it is very important that you get the right outcome. At the end of this interrogation, no we need a password. Uh, but also, I have discovered that there are several different um, ways you can get that outcome. So I'm just showing you what worked for me. So we've slapped him, and then the next option we've given him, we've let him have a drink. Um, I do know that you could have let AJ wake him up, and you still can get the, the right outcome. But I thought I'll just include all of my um, choices here. So if you want to guarantee. I'm smiling, the outcome, you can just here. follow along. You might be able to I have skipped a lot of the person. dialogue here, but I'm just showing you every single she's option. So I tell him that they've abandoned him the at this part. Twice. You think Lily would come back for you? We need and then waiting for the next choice. Soldiers who do what we say. Point at this point, I thought I'll try slamming his head. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. And all of these choices lead us to the, the desired outcome, as I said. And the reason we need that outcome is the password is used later in the game, much later in the game, or much later in the episode, to get an achievement called As a Mouse. Uh, but I'll show you more about that when it comes to it. So this section, definitely let him have a smoke. Now that is heavenly. <coughs> <laughs> so I haven't tested every single possible outcome, but I do know it's possible to miss the password. So make sure you get it, and I'll show you the password in just a second. He's gonna die, isn't he? Alright, so I went with I hope so, just to sort of rub it in here. We don't like Abel anyway. I hope he suffers every moment till he does. So yeah, the video is a little bit longer because I wanted to just include promise. all of this just to make it all clear. You won't let me turn. <laughs> so wait until he says that, and we're gonna let him sweat just once. How about this? How about you tell me everything you know, and then we'll see. Try me. And <laughs> what if the what if they could feel after it? we've let him sweat on it for a what bit? Our me? next option. We'll come up on the screen here. Not sure if it matters, but once again, just um, if you want to guarantee you it, just follow along. Enough. Maybe you just end up trapped along for the ride. Okay. This particular okay. 
playthrough that I'm showing, I just want I chose the options that I felt. You'll find the paper um, with everything you need to know. My Clem would say or do anyway. So once you get given this option, get AJ to check his boot. We have a boat. And this is when you know that you've got it. Um, he's about to tell us the password. Those words, they're city names. We use them like a call and response. Make sure we don't go shooting our home. Only one we use these days is Rockingham. Rockingham, that's the password. All right, moving on. Collectible number three. A little bit later in the game, we will be tasked with um, spying on the rebels. But before you talk to anyone in this area, head over to the, the right here and grab the rabbit's foot. Have to carry around a rabbit's foot. You don't think we'll take it home? And collectible number four is going to be just nearby as well. So from the rabbit's foot, turn around and head back over towards these trees over here. And somewhere in the grass on the ground over here is the horseshoe. There it is. So pick that up for collectible number four. Fallen off one of the horses when the raiders came through. And from here, we're going to move straight on to the next missable achievement. We've got to speak to each of the three characters, um, and they're going to get us to check out the area with the binoculars. Do not back out of the binoculars until the game makes you back out of each so. of the three uh, binocular scenarios. So when we speak to AJ, we've only got two things we need to look at. It's the torches and then the horses. And then the game will automatically make us back out. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. But if you weren't paying attention, you could back out by pressing like the B button and uh, you would uh, then miss out on this achievement. So once we've um, dealt with AJ's little scenario, go over and speak to Violet. Let's see what else is down there. And now we've got quite a few things we need to make sure we observe with the binoculars by selecting them with the A button. Prisoners. So the bridge up the top, this little entrance. Cross and up. We're going to be able to see the rebels keeping a watch. There are a few on deck. A couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. I cut out a little bit of the dialogue here just to keep this video running. See Lewis. You'll, you'll end up noticing right. Lewis. This is it. And then we've got the uh, the pier yeah. to the examine. Pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. And finally, move across to the left and look at the path. There's no good cover leading Then the to game the will back us out and we can go and speak with Willy and do this, a similar thing with him. Okay, this time we've got the supplies. Wood and quite a bit of it. Over to the right, we've got some more torches. More torches. Torches? And from there, all the way to the left, we've got more supplies. They're loading those raft raft. supplies. There we go, the game will back us out and we will get our achievement. We should get out of here before they spot us. There we it is. The plan once we're somewhere safe. All right, the descriptions in all these achievements are not great. Um, that's just My mask is still given by camp. Xbox or by the Inside game developers bag. or whatever. All right, pass the next missable achievement is Mercy. James is going to want you to distract the hey, walkers hey, while he in. gets his mask Please, back. I just, I just ask that you don't kill them, the so, walkers. If you so make sure you listen to him there. Can he asks that we do mask. not kill them. And if we can manage to do that, we'll get the achievement. And all that means is press B button and do not press Y. So press B to kick them. And all we have to do here is survive um, a set amount of time while James sneaks up there. You can see him in the background. He sneaks off to get his mask. We just have to hang around here, take care of these guys until a little cutscene plays out. But that's not the end of the achievement. There's a little bit more after that. Shouldn't be much longer. Don't uh, get stuck in a dead end like I am here, but uh, it actually works out for me. Here we go. So once this little scene plays out, it's going to be a little bit of dialogue here and then we're going to run over and push this cart. We still need to remember not to kill any uh, walkers. 
tap A button as fast as you can and then push Y and you'll be approached by a walker here. This is the last opportunity to kill a walker. Make sure you press B and not Y. I know it would have been easier to And kill there we go. That's it for the Mercy missable it. achievement. Really? Should pop about now. There we are. And a real short while after that, we're going to be given the option, uh, the objective to talk to James. Before we do that, make sure you go and look at this salt lick with AJ. Now you need to make sure that he doesn't lick it, and you do that by choosing this option here when it comes up. You need to stop him from licking it. So select X. Please don't lick it. Those are salty, right? Whatever you do. Don't like it. It tastes horrible. <laughs> How do you know? Did you? Did lick you it? lick it? <laughs> I like that bit. I don't know. <laughs> and we'll uh, get the next missable achievement. Did you lick it? There we go. And the next two, the final two collectibles are right by here. So again, before speaking with James, that will move things on, and we won't be able to get the collectibles. But from the salt lick. Just behind it here, on this side of the um, barn or whatever this is, is the wind chime. So make sure you grab those. The wind chime. It might be pretty in our room. And from the wind chimes, so starting at the wind chimes, we're going to head around the other side of the barn, past James. Make sure, once again, we don't speak with him just yet. And here we can pick up the sixth collectible, the final collectible for the episode. Good old Beatnik. And once you've picked him up, uh, as long as you've picked up all six collectibles in the playthrough, the achievement will pop for collecting all collectibles in episode three. And there's that glorious sound, a rare achievement. If enough of you follow along with this, so it won't be rare anymore. <laughs> all right, a short while later, a little bit later, you'll find yourself in your room back at the school. And this is the only opportunity to get the achievement for placing all of the collectibles. Head over to the door, place the horse? horseshoe. Mm-hmm, and I'll teach you to ride someday. The only problem with this will be that my achievement doesn't pop on screen. As I did this for the first time, I realized my um, Xbox Live and wasn't working properly. You draw pictures like this. So head to the bookshelf the and place oh. the um, sketch pad or sketch toy, head over to your bunk bed and we're going to place the pendant, under, pendant underneath. School pride. Go past the uh, coffee heater. Make sure not to pick up the coffee heater just yet. We want to grab this achievement first. And on top of AJ's bunk, we're going to place the rabbit's foot. For luck. Are bunnies lucky? Just their feet. Head over to the desk where AJ's sitting. Don't speak with AJ yet. We're going to place Beatnik on the desk. What's his name? Beatnik. <laughs> That's funny. Do you even get what the joke is? <laughs> no. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. I don't get it. <laughs> and now on the uh, ceiling fan, hang the wind chimes. And as soon as you've done that, if you've uh, followed along, your achievement will pop again. You won't see it. Um, Unlock on my screen, but I definitely pick up the achievement here. I like the music, even though it's loud. There we go. Okay, the following achievement I do believe is counted as missable, although um, after doing a few little tests, I can't, I couldn't find a way not to get this achievement. You need to make sure um, that after the little party that they throw at the school, that. Violet, or you might have Lewis, depending on um, who you chose to save in the last episode. You've just got to make sure that someone sings a song and everyone um, goes to bed. Uh, but like I said, there's nothing more I can really show you about it. I've tried a couple of different things and the same outcome happens no matter what. So um, maybe post a comment, guys, if you know something different or if uh, for some reason you didn't get this achievement. I'd love to, uh, one, I'd love to know what the uh, differences are, and also I'd love for everybody who's watching to make sure they know as much as possible. But um, 
Yeah, without replaying the whole episode again, um, already a bit late getting this video out, so I wanted to um, get on with things, and I think that everyone should manage to grab this achievement, but I, I, part of me thought it wasn't even missable, so I wasn't going to include it, but I definitely wanted to show it in here. There we go, achievement should pop now. Moving on to the next missable achievement, we'll be tasked Look, with okay. sneaking onto the boat. When we get to the Ready entrance to the boat, we're going to be attacked walkers. by some walkers. You have to make sure that they don't get close enough to grab you here, so aim with the uh, bow and just get a few headshots. I don't think it matters if you miss here, but um, I managed to get them all here. All you have to do is make sure they don't get close enough to grab you. And that will give you the personal space achievement. There we go. A very short time after that, as you're sneaking through the boat, you'll uh, hide from this guy. And this is the conclusion to As a Mouse. We're going to use the password that we grabbed earlier in the episode from Abel. So make sure you choose the right option here. Rockingham. That's right, Rockingham's the password. And it would not be available as an option if we didn't get the uh, password from Abel earlier in the game. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Okay, time for the final achievement, uh, final missable achievement. Without giving too much away, a short time later, you'll be trapped in this room. Before you try and escape, go over to these scratches on the wall and inspect them. That long. And that will be the achievement tally for counting the days. And that's going to be it for this, uh, for this guide, guys. That's gonna be all of the achievements. I hope it's really helped. Uh, if it has, remember to hit the uh, thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already for plenty more achievement guides to come. I've been focusing on Xbox Game Pass games, games with gold, um, we've got a few other things going on. I've been doing some real walkthroughs. Uh, if this is the sort of thing that you guys are into, please consider checking out my Patreon page. I'll put the link in the description below. Please check it out and support me there if you want me to be able to keep making guides like this. Oh, and there's the bell, guys. You know what that means. That's it for another edition of Achievement College. Class dismissed.